The fall of 2013 began a new chapter for the Illinois State football program as it unveiled the new Hancock Stadium. The renovations nearly doubled the stadium's seating capacity and made it one of the toughest places to play in all of FCS football. Head coach Brock Spack entered his fifth season as the head coach of the Birds with four straight winning seasons. After making the 2012 National Quarterfinals, the Birds looked to reload quickly and continue to establish its winning tradition. The Birds came out ready to play against Abilene Christian as Josh Birch returned the opening kickoff 42 yards, setting up a seven-play, 56-yard drive, ending in a touchdown. It was new addition Colin Keoshian who had the rush from 10 yards out. If Keoshian gets it and more, five-yard line, dive! It's a touchdown, and the Redbirds are on the ball. With the Wildcats driving on their first possession, Illinois State recorded its second takeaway of the season as Mike Banks stripped a completed pass that was recovered by Braden Drake. That ball's caught short gain at the nine, struggling to the eight, and then the seven, then he loses the ball, and the Redbirds get on it. Following a long drive, the Birds face third down from the Abilene 19. Freshman quarterback Blake Winkler fired a touchdown pass to Cam Meredith to put the Birds in front 17 to 10. But the Birds weren't done in the first half. As time expired, true freshman Anthony Warham returned a 62-yard punt to give Illinois State a 24 to 10 advantage heading into the break. From the 39, quickly across midfield, now gets away, 45-40. Needs a little more to get into field goal range, and he may get there. 25-20 at the 15-10, 5, touchdown, Redbirds, as the half comes to an end. The Illinois State offense added another score in the second half as the Birds christened the new Hancock Stadium by securing their first win of the season. In Winkler's first start under center, he finished 18 for 25 for 201 yards and one touchdown. Keoshian ran for 54 yards with two scores. On the defensive side, transfer David Perkins added a career best two and a half sacks with six tackles, while corner Mike Banks had five tackles and one forced fumble. Next, the Redbirds return to Hancock Stadium to take on Western Illinois for homecoming. Looking to stay undefeated at home, the Birds faced a resurgent Western Illinois team that entered the game with a 1-1 record in Missouri Valley Football Conference play. The contest was a defensive battle through the first quarter as each team went scoreless. Dante McCoy and Pat Meehan led the team with seven total tackles each. Braden Prate recorded two tackles for loss and Mike Banks tallied the fourth interception of his career. The Birds crossed the goal line twice in the second quarter as Blake Winkler hit Chick Chatham for a four-yard score to put the Birds up seven to nothing. Winkler from under center, takes the snap, looks on the slant, hits his man, and it's caught for a touchdown. On the following ISU drive, Marshawn Coprich jumped the goal line for a one-yard score and put the Birds in front 14-0 while the defense was able to hold the Leathernecks scoreless through the first half. Starting the third quarter, Western cut the lead in half with a 42-yard score, but the Birds responded with a seven-play, 74-yard drive capped off by a rushing score from Coprich, his second of the day. Second TD run of the day and of the season. With the Birds up 21-7, Western Illinois quickly answered with two quick scores, tying the game at 21. In the fourth quarter, the Redbirds had a six-play, 64-yard drive capped by Blake Winkler's 13-yard touchdown pass to Milton Colbert. It would prove to be the game's winning score. First down, single man to the backfield, Keoshian. He's got to get rid of it in a hurry. Fades to the far side and... He's got it. Touchdown, Illinois State. 
Marshawn Coprich had a career day on the ground with 124 rush yards and three touchdowns. Illinois State returned home to take on the Indiana State Sycamores. Using a well-balanced attack, the Redbirds stormed out to a 38-0 halftime lead over the other ISU. And they give to Coprich on the right side of the line. He walks into the end zone for the opening touchdown of the game. The Birds lead it 6-0. Back to throw and putting it toward the end zone, and the ball is caught. Was he in bounds? Yes! Touchdown, Redbirds! Cameron Meredith with a great catch. Gives it on the end around. Here's Dudley. 10, cuts back to the 5, and drives into the end zone for the score. Josh Birch became the fifth player in Illinois State program history to return a kick 100 yards when he opened the second half with a touchdown kickoff return. Indiana State wasn't able to score until late in the third quarter, but the Birds answered immediately with a 72-yard Marshawn Coprich rushing touchdown. With just under eight minutes remaining in the game, Indiana State scored once more, but the Redbirds raced past the Sycamores to a final score of 55 to 14. The defense only allowed 174 yards, forced seven sacks, and recorded two turnovers in the victory. After scoring a season-high 55 points against Indiana State, Brock Spack and the Birds faced South Dakota in their quest to remain unbeaten at home. After a scoreless first quarter, the Redbirds were able to find the end zone with a 33-yard touchdown pass to Corey Shandrick. It put the Birds in front 7 to nothing. He gets it and fakes the handoff. Back to throw. Steps up. Throws it long. Wide open. Shandrick. Eight yard line. Now up to five. He dives. He's in. Touchdown, Illinois State. And the Redbirds up six to nothing. The Coyotes came right back with a 91 yard scoring drive to knock the game at seven. At the start of the second quarter, the Birds had great field position after a muff punt and Blake Winkler was able to find Phil Dudley on a 43-yard completion. Dudley is slotted inside. Winkler in the gun, looks to throw, puts it out long over the middle. Dudley makes the catch. 10-yard line, 5, Woo! touchdown! Phil Dudley with a fingertip grab. That put the Birds in front 14-7. The Coyotes were stopped on their next drive, running three plays for negative four yards and giving Illinois State the ball at their own 42. Coprich had a quick run covering 22 yards, setting up a 35-yard touchdown pass to Scott Kuhn. That leaves Winkler in an empty set. He gets it, looks, lots of time to look. Now he throws it long into the end zone. The ball is caught, it's a touchdown, and it's Scott Kuhn. The defense was stifling in the contest with three takeaways and two sacks. Matt Goldsmith forced one fumble on the Coyotes' 27-yard line. Back to the left, back to throw again as Earl puts it out in the flat. That's caught, short gain at the 25. Ball comes free. Who's got it? Redbirds appear to have it. And the Redbirds indicating they have it. They do. And the Birds only needed one play as Coprich scampered along the sideline for the score. South Dakota attempted to convert on fourth down to get back into the game, but Braden Prate was there to grab the first interception of his career. He gets the ball and throws it out in the flat. It's punched up in the air and it is intercepted. Redbirds running it back the other way. That's Braden Prate. He's at the 30 and he's gonna be tackled from behind and down he goes at the 20. The Birds were able to hold off the Coyotes the rest of the way to improve to their fourth straight win at Hancock Stadium, the final score, 28 to 14.
Redbirds capped their three-game homestand with the home finale against always tough Northern Iowa. Coming off a frustrating overtime loss, the Panthers look to spoil ISU's senior day and their undefeated home season. The Redbirds' defense was dominant the whole game, only allowing three points and forcing eight punts. Tevin Allen and Colton Underwood added eight tackles each, and Allen chipped in one tackle for loss and one interception. And Cole Morgan gets it, fakes to Johnson, back the throw, they're in on him, he gets hit as he throws it, that falls in, intercepted! Tevin Allen! On the Panthers' first drive of the game, Teddy Corwin's blocked punt allowed the Birds to get on the board first, with a 24-yard Nick Ossaker field goal. Was the spot by Adam Rebholz is perfect and the kick is up and it is good. And the Redbird defense then did their part as Tevin Allen jumped on the Panther fumble and ran for a score to give Illinois State the 10-0 lead. Cole Morgan in there now, throws it out in the flat, it's dropped, and is it a forward pass? Picked up by the Redbirds, into the end zone goes Allen, and Nick it Ossiker is a touchdown! Nick Ossiker capped off the victory with a 28-yard field goal to secure a 13-3 Redbird win. Illinois State finished the season 5-0 at home, marking the first undefeated slate at Hancock Stadium since 1999. Six Redbirds were named to the Missouri Valley Conference All-Conference team, led by first-teamer Colton Underwood. Offensive lineman Josh Aladinoy and sophomore linebacker Pat Meehan were second team. Jordan Newkirk, Nick Ossaker, and junior safety Dante McCoy rounded out the All-Conference selections. Illinois State returns a veteran-laden squad in 2014 as the Redbirds look to make their second playoff appearance in three years.